Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow top foxer Mark Ripley as he heads out on a foxing mission with Pulsar's XG50 Krypton Thermal. So this evening I'm going to be out testing the new Pulsar Krypton XG50 thermal imaging add-on. Now what this basically is, is a thermal device which fits onto the front of your standard day scope. Here I've got it fitted to an element nexus rifle scope, uh, which is just a standard day optic. That slots straight on the front there. You can also use this as a monocular if you use the supplied um, monocular device which uh, comes with it. Or you might have to buy this separately, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's got like a bayonet fitting on the front there which attaches to this unit so you can use it as a handheld spotter five times magnification spotter which works very well it's just as clear as like the accolades or something like that um, but with it attached to the front of the scope as it is on on my uh, 260 here that will give you the equivalent of a, a thermion or a trail or something like that that kind of thermal rifle scope the great thing about this unit is that adds on in seconds and uh, you can just carry that around in your pocket and then add it onto your rifle scope uh, instantly changing over from normal day optics to a thermal imaging setup. So one of the great things about using a thermal rifle scope is your quarry has no idea that you're there because you're not um, putting out like an infrared light as you would if you were using night vision so there's no infrared to give you away no nothing you're in the dark and unless uh, your quarry scented you or heard you you're basically invisible um, you can record on this the only downside to it is that because it's forward of your scope you won't see the crosshairs because it's literally just recording what it sees but it does actually record um, very well because it's got a five times magnification it does still give you a good sort of field of view and clear image of uh, what you're out after one thing that you do have to be a little bit careful of is when you mount this on here is to make sure that you have actually got clearance between the bottom of this unit and your uh, barrel or any part of your rifle because that can affect the point of impact if for instance that was touching the barrel your barrel harmonics will change when you fire a shot and uh, potentially that could, could shift your point of impact slightly but with this added on um, correctly following the instructions it shouldn't affect your point of impact at all Using this unit is very simple, you'd simply power it up um, and then you've got you, you've got all your standard kind of, um, I won't go into all the details of the specifications of bits and pieces that it does, but it's much the same as all the, the Pulsar equipment. Um, you've got all the standard sort of settings like that. But you've also got a, a focus knob on the top here, that enables you to focus the image that you're looking at through the scope. Um, the other, your focus on your rifle scope, you simply would use that just to initially adjust your scope to that screen because basically what it is is just a screen on the front of your um, day scope so you'd need to just crisp up the image with that first and then you, for your distance focusing you'd use this knob on the top here. So the weather out this evening is looking a bit crap to be honest the forecast isn't great um, we're expecting a bit of light rain so uh, that will certainly put this unit to the test because um, all thermal units and that if you've got a little bit of light rain or fog they that really kind of limits their ability um, it certainly reduces what you can see through it so um, it'll be interesting to see how well that performs this evening generally on a nice sort of crisp cool night like we're getting at the moment um, then it performs very very well the other thing that'll be interesting to see is um, how waterproof it is it's meant to be waterproof so uh, we'll put that to the test as well um, but for a four grand unit I hope it's waterproof.
for the farm's got a stack of bales here so I'm going to get up on there and that gives me a good view out across this field. Um, I'm going to put the Fox Pro cooler out there and just see if I can pull something in out one of the hedgerows or one of the surrounding fields. Oi! Oi! Okay, so that worked really well. Um, I'll put the cooler out about 50 metres from where I am and uh, set that going. And in no time at all, uh, I had the fox come in from the left hand side, he came in from behind the bales here this side and out in front of me um, and he stops and he was sniffing around the cooler so I shot that one, hopefully I managed to get that on film um, and then uh, I gave it a call for a little bit longer I didn't see anything so um, I was just going to uh, knock it on the head and then uh, I was uh, just packing up my one quick look round with the thermal and I saw another one come out of the hedge on the left there and this one was a bit more cautious, he kind of came out a bit further out in the field and I don't think he was going to stop. Um, he was crossing across the field about 120 metres and I'll give him a, a quick yell and he stopped and stood and I shot him. Um, I can see him really clearly in this uh, this setup. It's, uh, it's almost too easy to be honest. It worked really well. Um, I was using the uh, Screaming Rabbit um, on the Fox Pro there and that brought both of them in. So. Uh, yeah, that was a really good good result there. I've probably only been out about half an hour, so that was good going. So as you can see, there's the cooler. And there's the fox. There's only a couple of yards away. That's a very light coloured fox as well. It's unusual. Little vixen. That's a closer one. The other one's uh, a bit further out here. As you can see, good old British weather, never lets you down. Not the best of nights to be out, and it's certainly not the best of nights to be using thermal. That's a dog fox. Good. Big the dog. Brilliant. I'll drag them down to the farm and uh, leave them for the farmer for the morning. He'll be very pleased with that.
Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.